a gain of $526. That's the trading result from our commodity and futures trading according to COT data in week number 25. Hello and welcome to Insider Week. In this video we are going to discuss the trades of this week and the corresponding results. First of all we have a little announcement to make. Our tax consultant gave us the information that value added tax is going to be paid in terms of the location of customers and not in terms of the firm anymore due to the new EU digital laws. That means for European citizens that the price for our one year intensive coaching program is going to rise by the value added tax from 1st of July onwards. If you are interested to benefit from the cheaper price until then, you can contact us and buy your participation until the 30th of June. For this, you can visit our website and fill in the contact formula such that we can get in touch with you and give you more details about the coaching program. As always, let's have a look at our portfolio at the beginning of the week. We started into week number 25 with an empty portfolio that consisted of zero positions. During the week, we opened new positions, namely in crude oil, four long contracts and cotton, nine long contracts. And as you can see, we are currently well in the win. First market, cotton. In cotton, we can see on the weekly chart a strong uptrend. The commercials are in an extreme area and they are net long according to our COT signal. The seasonal trend doesn't confirm our COT signal, but we adjusted our risk by using the right position size. On the daily chart, you can see that we tried to enter the market, but it was a wrong entry. We were stopped out and price went into a further correction. But we could see that the setup is still active and thus we took a re-entry possibility, we were triggered and now we are long 9 contracts in this market and wait for our target price to be reached. Next market crude oil. This market is on our watch list for some time now. On the weekly chart you can see a strong uptrend. You can see that commercial index gave us a buy signal. That's in harmony with the seasonal trend. On the daily chart you can see the strong uptrend. We were not able to find the right timing to get into this strong trend. We used the correction in the last week and now we are long 4 contracts and well in the win. We expect our target price to be reached by next week. Next let's have a look at our second strategy, the so called champion strategy. You can see that we started into week number 25 with an empty portfolio and closed off this week with an empty portfolio as well. During the week we've conducted two trades and you can see the results on our website here in this column. The two markets didn't perform as expected and our target price wasn't reached. However, due to our active risk management, we were not stopped out with a loss, but we realized a slight profit of $526. In our videos and in our coaching programs and webinars, we always preach that risk management is the key to success in trading. And in these two trades, we were able to see again that we are on the right track when it comes to active risk management. In the end, let's have a look at CRB index as usual. The vertical green line here depicts the peak of the seasonal trend, which decreases afterwards. The question here is how will commodity prices behave? On the one hand commodity prices could go up and then the trend is expected to continue no matter what seasonal trend shows here. On the other hand side it could well be that prices go into a correction. That would be in harmony with seasonal trend. We are well prepared for both scenarios because we have buy and sell signals. So we will make some trades depending on the scenario that we will observe in the next weeks. That's it from our side this week and we wish you all many successful trades for the next week. Thank you for your attention and see you again for our regular trading results video at the next Sunday.